6 in that historic astronaut crew quarters suit up room and there you see the commander Stephen Bowen in his seat it is exactly as the seats are inside the dragon there's Woody Hoberg the pilot for today yep that's exactly at the foam the fittings and everything like that are exactly their Sultan one of the mission specialists and so what they do is two by two they pressurize them up check the comm system uh, and basically are checking to make sure there's no malfunctions in the suit because you'd rather fix that there than, than out. Talk about that in a second and here they come. Yep and there they are hiding out and just so just to Steve's left is where they would have signed the patch already probably did that this morning you can see uh, the chief of the astronaut office Joe Akaba uh, just behind them yeah, there's uh, Woody and Steven, and then behind them, Andre and Sultan. Sultan. Andre, and then uh, Norm Knight's in the tan jacket there, the uh, head of FOD, the Core Operations countdown. Directorate. About to step into crew walkout. We remain on schedule. So you can see that poster behind them has been signed by tons of people on the launch team. So you can see the picture, but then all around it is signatures, which was a kind of a cool surprise uh, to see. They don't see that until that moment when they get in the elevator and then see all those signatures. And when you walked in there, you saw those signatures. You knew these were people that worked on your mission to get it ready to go. Exactly. So it's people from JSC, KSC, the commercial wave? crew program. <laughs> uh, Woody, Woody waved a little too. And here they come, Crew 6 taking their first steps outside before their journey to space. From left to right, we have Andre Fedyev, Woody Hoberg, Stephen Bowen, and Sultan al Nayyad. And now they'll stand in front of their family and loved ones and have some exchange off your muscles aren't quite this work the same uh, so we spend you know it's not quite as easy as getting out of a boat when you're in good shape so we have to spend a lot of time trying to figure out and how do you simulate that uh, how do you make the right you know restraints uh, and tools for the crew to get out quickly if they have to and to do it safely um, it'd, it'd be even worse if you know someone falls and slips and now a bad in the helicopter and here comes Woody and Steve down the crew access arm ready to get inside the Dragon spacecraft and so you'll see there's a NASA meatball there um, with the, the signatures of all the previous crew dragons. Your signature is there. It is. Yep. And then the, uh, the SpaceX for the, the private mission. So they basically uh, kind of, and you'll see, I think they're about to hand them a Sharpie. Yeah, they are. This is on now, the crew checklist. Now, now you got to decide if you want to take your, your hands out of the gloves or keep them in the gloves. So it's different people prefer different things. You can, you can take your hands in and out without. All right. Good news. Thanks, Steve. And here comes Sultan and Andre. Dragon SpaceX for awareness. We're going to be triggering an onboard manual alert. Uh, you'll see this temporarily. No corrections required. So you can hear the core talking to Steve. SpaceX Dragon Talk. So when they first get in, this is doing an initial check just to tell them they're in the seat. There'll be more formal comm checks later. And what you heard the core tell them that they're going to they're going to see an enunciation of an alert, but it, there's nothing required. So they're um, just giving a heads up so that the crew is not surprised. Forget that you've got a giant bulb down. attack to the top of your head and then bump that visor into something. I like that shot that SpaceX showed us going into Dragon with the the closeout team yep. following yeah. right behind the astronauts and you the can cosmonauts. See a, yep, pretty good view of Andre's uh, armrest there and you can see the buttons on there and so you can see that one at the, cl the bottom center of your screen with the, the little white dot so that's actually a little Velcro button and so the reason we do that is all those buttons would normally feel the same so you put a little piece of Velcro on Coming up, we'll hear the call for Dragon to... Dragon SpaceX for awareness. We are seeing a T-Tab load issue and are troubleshooting. We are currently still go, but have further evaluation before making a final decision. We'll get you a final read before T-0. Be on countdown one. Hold, hold, hold. We are standing down due to a T-Tab ground issue. As you just heard, we have. Has started. As you just heard, we have a hold tonight uh, due to the T-TEB issue that I mentioned prior. 
And the... Dragon SpaceX with that call from LD. You are go to step into 5.100 launch scrub. And Dragon, LD on countdown one. At this time, our offloads are underway. Vehicle is safe and proceeding nominally with offload. Expecting about a 50 minute offload. SpaceX Dragon copies about a five zero minute offload. We'll be sitting here waiting. Thanks. And uh, that uh, crew access arm, we did get confirmation. You can see it visually actually. It is swinging back into place to access the side hatch on the side of Crew Dragon Endeavor. So again, the uh, Falcon 9 is completely offloaded with fuel and oxidizer and the launch escape system has been disarmed. Those commands confirmed before going ahead and swinging the... And NASA's and official SpaceX commercial crew update. blog. Uh, we've pulled go for the closeout team uh, to start re-entering the BDA and they'll be back alongside you at the capsule shortly uh, and helping you egress. Additionally, just want to do a quick comfort check uh, make sure you guys are still feeling okay sitting there, and if you need a PMC, I can set one up. And wait for Captain Bowen to respond. And SpaceX Dragon, uh, we're all feeling good, just waiting on the opportunity to get out of the castle, that's all. <laughs> all right, SpaceX copies.